happy Friday, ladies and gents. My eyes are like stinging from the amount of sun coming in today. I've just been chilling outside for a bit, drinking a cup of tea, um, eating my noodles, and I'm about to play uh, Call of Duty with Ryan. About to play that, so that should be fun. I'm um, looking forward to that. And it's just a chill Friday. Bank holiday Friday, so I don't have to work. I think I was supposed to do that. But yeah, cool. I'm happy about it. Let's just chill, play a bit of cod, drink my cup of tea, get some editing done today. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of editing to do today. I put my sunglasses on still because the trauma my eyes have just dealt with. I put sun cream in my eye. Always apply your SPF, ladies and gents. Always apply your SPF. Apart from don't apply it in your eyes because it stings, and then your eyes look slightly knackered like mine do now. Like, oh, I mean it doesn't look too bad on camera, but tr trust me, trust me. It's a situation, okay, it's a situation. Um, I'm really excited for this weekend, I don't know why. Not that I'm going anywhere or doing nothing, but I'm just excited for the weekend. Weather's nice, I'm gonna try and get stuff done. I'm gonna play a bit of Call of Duty with Ryan first, indoors, uh, whatever. I actually prefer like late afternoon sun than midday sun. Midday sun's too hot for me. Afternoon sun is like that <clears throat> perfect, perfect sun. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna play some games. I'm gonna drink my cup of tea and that's all that's happening. It is half seven and I didn't want my videos during this time to be, you know, I want them to be an escape for people or at least a bit of a distraction, even if it's just for 20 or 30 minutes, okay? That's what I wanted and I wanted it to be equally a distraction for me um, to film videos and to feel distracted by what's going on in the world. Um, while staying at home and you know I've said it in many videos, stay at home, stay safe. I'm going to keep reminding people of doing that because... I think it's important to um, not ignore it, you know, not ignore the situation. Like, if we ignore it, like, it's not going to get any better. Um, but just be cognizant of it without bringing the mood down. Um, but I'm feeling pretty low at the moment because... <sighs> Let's just call them divs absolute morons are breaking the quarantine including people i know and i'm absolutely raging i'm like i'm raging if people are breaking quarantine you're literally the most selfish selfish human being on planet earth right now and i'm just so angry because everyone else is trying to do their bit to stay at home to stop to stop this virus spreading and people are going out for a social people are going out to see their mate Do you not think we all want that too? Do you not all think we want to have a social enjoy summer too? Do you not think that we want to see our family during Easter if we celebrate it too? Do you not think I want to go see my boyfriend too? I haven't seen Jake in over three weeks. I haven't touched a human being. Like, I haven't even touched a human being for three weeks because my dad's still working and he's he works in the food industry. So he's still working. So we've had to maintain social distance in my own home. And people are going out having a jolly. Well, you're an absolute selfish piece of poo. <laughs> you're so selfish. 
it's not hard stay just stay at home it is crap we're all doing it we're all pulling through and the long like the more people go out thinking it's all right i'm only seeing so and so they haven't got it there's people 22 dying there's people that are like 13 dying it's, you know it, you're not invincible you're not invincible and we haven't even reached the peak yet when this posts the peak is supposed to be happening now so i don't know what the situation is when i post this but i'm so i'm so upset i'm so upset especially because like of course i miss the rest of my family but like jake is by himself in his flat and he's upset because he's by himself in his flat and he has been for the past three weeks three and a half weeks and people are being so selfish and it's making me so upset because in their act of thinking it's all right it's all right even if even if the person you're seeing is all right and has been in quarantine themselves and you think it's okay all you're doing is encouraging behavior of breaking quarantine and i hope i bloody hope the government just make it an enforced thing and just start finding people on the spot if they're out you shouldn't be out it's so selfish Anyway, I'm going to go make a cup of tea, because that makes everything better. But um, if you're watching and you've broken quarantine, well, you know what I think. Happy Saturday everyone, um, I'm just about to do some gardening, I don't know what time it is, midday, half one, something like that, um, and it's boiling, it's absolutely boiling, I've already got my SPF on guys, don't worry, I've got SPF on, I smell like the beach, um, and I'm about to go help the mother do some gardening, do some zigging, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to pass out because it's so hot, and then I have to tidy my room because it's absolute pigsty, so... That's kind of what we're doing today, just a very cash, very casual day.
guys, I am a mess. Um, I reflect what's going on behind me. My bedroom um, is an interesting place. Oh my god, look at this. What's going on? I have like a zit right there. How disgusting. Um, I'm literally slathered in sun cream. So you know when you feel a little bit sticky, but equally I'm protecting my skin. So I'm like, don't feel that bad. Um, I... Uh, my room is one of those things that when it looks tidy and beautiful, it stays tidy and beautiful for about three days. And then as soon as it starts to get untidy, it gets untidy in a matter of 24 hours. My room is honestly embarrassing right now. I live a lot of lives in this room. I live the life of a student, so all my books are in here, all of my work, stationery. I live the life of an employee. Work stuff is here, my work bag. Um, all of my files, you know, like for my um, pay slips and, you know, files I like to keep on hand. And my uniform things, not uniform, but you know, my, my work gear. It is just a bedroom, you know, I have my wardrobes in here and a TV and things like books and stuff like that. So that's all in there. And bags and shoes and, and I have like birthday presents. If I find something for someone for their birthday, it stays under my bed. Um as well as like shoes and stuff like that. And I also live a life of preparing for future life, which is, you know, like I've got pots, not pots and pans, but I've got a pot and like plates and glasses under my bed ready for when I move out one day. Um, I just burped a little bit. I'm sorry, I didn't even say excuse me. I kind of just internalized it. Um, so, and I obviously do all of my hobbies in here. It's also like my studio, as you were, for filming. So there's there's just makeup out all the time. Like there's just, look at my hair, what's going on? There's just makeup out all the time. Not like in a dirty way, as in like I use it and I put it back in little baskets and I put it places like, can you see the mess that is unfolding up there? I just like put it away, like I put it on top instead of putting it all away because I want to know what products I use so I can fill in the description bar and then I just kind of leave it out because I forget about it and then I do about battle of the boxes and then all of those products sit in tidy little baskets like this so that I can reflect on it properly after I've done the video and actually like put it away in the correct place so that I don't put like a, I don't put a health shot in my skincare drawer because I don't want that you know what I mean so I live a lot of different lives in this in this three by three meter room which is kind of sad isn't it but it is a mess it is an absolute mess like it's actually to the point of like I'm a little bit embarrassed um I'm sitting on the floor because my phone's charging because I was doing gardening all morning by the way I haven't even said what the time is what is the time it's five o'clock exactly so I've been gardening now for about three no two and a half hours I stopped for something to eat um watched a bit of youtube and now we're here dad's gone to brave it to the supermarket to go get some stuff for us um like milk and bread things like that and i've asked him to get me a packet of revels or a packet of chocolate raisins i really feel like i love like munchy things where i can just have two or three to satisfy a taste and then equally i can grab like a whole handful when i want something more like a bar of chocolate will be gone in a day with me because i don't know when to stop but things i can like pick at I prefer, I don't know why, anyway, um, so when he comes back I'm going to make him a cup of tea because he's been working as well today, bless him, so he's had a bit of a long day, he's like our nominated soldier in this household, uh, I'm going to mount you on top of my door I think, so that you can like get a good bird's eye view of what's going on, because last time I did a tidy up vlog, sorry, last time I did tidying up in my vlog, you couldn't really see what was going on because you could only see in that direction, which is okay, but you can't see the mess that's unfolding here. Oh, do I want to show you this? Not really. I don't really want to show you this yet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. But then equally, Dad's going to be home in like 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to make him a cup of tea and stop. So I'm kind of like, I might edit for 10 minutes because I've got a video to go up. Um, I just need to finish editing it. So I might just finish editing and make him a cup of tea and then start tidying my room great i haven't applied makeup in ages i feel like the only time i apply makeup is for a video it's pretty miserable to be honest <laughs> okay you guys let's crack on i'm gonna edit for a bit make a cup of tea then tidy this pit because it's literally a pigsty oh look at a little picture of me and lily 
Look how cute we are. Oh, and I want to paint my nails today. I want to do like a pastel colour because it's like Easter Sunday tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, Easter Sunday tomorrow. So fancy some pastel nails instead of like deep wine red. See you in a bit. This, uh, this is where I just stand here embarrassed, ashamed, and with no excuse, to be honest with you. Um, what you're going to see is a full body shot right now. You can see my bra through my very sheer top. Do I care? Not really. You can see this juicy bum with terrible VPL going on because my pants are too small. Um, and I'm wearing cycling shorts, so that was going to happen. <sighs> Need I say more? Need I say more? Um, I'm gonna try and speed this up. So, uh, what time is it now? It's half five. Hopefully, I can get this all done in 45 minutes. Is that is that too much to ask? Do you think? I reckon I can get it done in 45 minutes, or make, at least make it look considerably better. But right now, I'm ashamed to be putting this on the internet. I'll be completely honest with you. So, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's half seven. You know when I said hopefully it'll take me 45 minutes? It's been two hours. The bed is looking like that. Look, a bra, brilliant. The bed's looking like that. The side is looking very clean. 
I hope you can see that. It's, this is where I've been mounting my tripod. But the side's looking pretty clean. Um, down here is looking a little bit cluttered. I tried to put all my trainers in like one big box because they actually go underneath my bed. My bed's an ottoman, but the ottoman itself is broken. So it's a pain in the jacksy, let's say that. Pain in the jacksy to open it and close it. So that's gonna be like one of the last things that I do is open my bed up to put anything that I don't want in the next couple of weeks under there. If I'm honest, like, I'm not going to, ha if I had to get under my bed every week, it would stress me out because it's so heavy. Like this is a classic mattress. This mattress is old. It's my parents, well, my parents had it before I had it. Um, so it's, if not, if it's not as old as me, it's definitely as old as my brother because I remember it when I was a child. So yeah, I remember my mum having, I don't know why I'm going down this tangent. What I'm trying to say is it's a heavy, heavy mattress. So going under my bed, like trying to lift up and supporting that weight whilst I put shoes in and out. It can't be a weekly process. It has to be like, what shoes do I want to wear? Okay, am I likely to wear these again? They can stay out for the month. I know that sounds like lazy, but it won't be like that forever. When I live with Jake, obviously I have, I'll have actual shoe storage to put my shoes in places. At the moment, all I've got is just all this stuff on the bed. I've got some product. And then I've got like my bra stuff sorted out. I've actually already filmed with all of this stuff or like... I don't know, it's just like in there, if you know what I mean? So it can be all packed away. <sighs> but it's half seven and I'm tired. And I just get to the point where you know you just look at your room and you're like, oh, I'm bored of tidying now. But it must be done. So <laughs> I'll just carry on until it's done. I trimmed all of my bush. I mean, look at it, it's just absolutely crazy. I mean, it's not a bush, it's a plant. The these are the flowers that should be on it. And for some reason, it went absolutely mental and started growing like upwards and I didn't trim it enough. So now it's just really tall. So I'm waiting for it to kind of, I think I need to wait till winter and then like trim it right back into like a twig bush thing, but it's absolutely mental. And then my orchid, I mean, there's no orchid in it anymore because it died because I forgot to water it. Um, but it's still alive. I just watered it now and the roots seem to be coming back a little bit. Um, yeah, that's the situation. Happy Easter Sunday! Yes, it's Easter Sunday. Um, I am wearing the same clothes as Friday. Because I wear the clothes more than once. Um, it's so bright today that my eyes, like for some reason, I'm really struggling looking out into bright light. Which is kind of concerning a little bit. Um, but yeah, Easter Sunday. I've actually done makeup today. I'm actually ready. Full appearance, ready for my, um audition um and we're gonna go make some like little easter nests for the family my family are quite local so um i mean my nan and granddad live next door to me and my uncle lives literally 10 doors down so um i'm gonna just deliver literally a few just like literally one each like nests so i'm gonna go make those and i haven't got my mum dad or brother an easter egg so that's kind of going to be their easter egg um gonna make some of those so yeah, very excited. Um, my uncle delivered this broken rabbit to me <laughs> because I said I was better than him and he crushed it, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, so I'm gonna crush his nest when I give it to him. I'm gonna crush the eggs and put them on top and be like, mm-hmm, you can play that game. So yeah, that's about it. I've just realized my top button's undone. A reality baby reality um but my phone's not been charging all night which is kind of annoying so i'm gonna have to make these rice crispy cake things in a very odd position so that i can charge my phone and show you at the same time can't wait um but let's go let's go i mean what time is it? i don't even know what time i think it's midday i've been basically lazing around doing nothing but skyping jake not skyping facetiming who do i think i am facetiming jake and doing my makeup that's about it i'm watching youtube that's all i've done so i have just done an easter egg hunt whoops just done an easter egg hunt for my two cousins oh sorry i didn't realize you were playing games ryan just done an easter egg hunt for my two cousins who are a bit younger but they live with us so i've just done an easter egg hunt for them in the garden like loads of little clues so that should be fun for them um but i've just spent the best part of like two hours facetiming jake to try and find the clues so yeah Easter egg hunt time. Each of their um, little clues are in these eggs and then inside the egg 
is a clue oh, yeah. that like lead to another Easter egg, which is gonna be really exciting. So yeah, I've hidden them all around the garden and they're like dotted around. They have to go to each egg to find their main Easter egg for the day. We've gotta be changing it up. <laughs> so I've hidden them in places where they might not be able to see. So there's one there. I like hidden them so they have to specifically ask for a, a new clue. I've got one under the barbecue in there. I've got one in the clock and I have one in the trampoline right here. And then there's some in my nan and granddad's garden next door. Um, I won't go show you that because that's their house. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So I'm sure you've all made Easter nests before in some form, but I'm just gonna kind of run through how I do them. Um, and we make them, I mean, usually I would have made them before Easter, so they're ready for Easter, but because of COVID-19, I've had to collect the ingredients slowly through different shops that my dad has gone out and done. So let's just run through what you'll need if you want to create these in the future or just at any given time because they're just delicious anyway. You'll need a glass bowl, mixing bowl, preferably bigger than smaller, depending on how many you're making. I'm making them for about 12 people. I think I might have miscalculated that, I'm not sure. But I'm making them for quite a few people, so I wanna make a couple. You need a saucepan, because that's what your boiling water's gonna go on, and your glass bowl's gonna go on top of to melt the chocolate. So, this is just Miss Molly's chocolate. I think this is just Tesco's own, I'm not really too sure. It's like 25p a bar. I've gone for three bars of milk chocolate and three bars of plain dark chocolate, just because I find it's less sickly sweet with half and half. I probably should have got about eight bars of chocolate, but I didn't want to be too, too greedy, seen as, as like the situation that we're in. So I'm going to try and make as many as I can with what I've got. That's just the situation. You'll see how many I make with what I've got. So I'm going to tell you what I've got and then you can make a judgment if you want to make more or less. But um, the chocolate goes not as far as you think. So yeah, I've got three of each and um, they're quite thin as well. Three of each of those. I've got some golden syrup. This is in the squeezy form because um, it's just easier to handle. I've got a tin version. I let my mum sort that out because I prefer the squeezy one. It is more expensive, like by 20p or whatever, but I just find it's a bit more convenient. I have got some honey as well. Uh, again, squeezy honey. I love the squeezy things. Um, so I've got some honey just because it's kind of like golden syrup, but I can do a bit of half and half. Um, I have also got some shredded wheat now you can substitute this out for plain cornflakes cocoa pops uh, like rice crispy things um you can use bran no bran yeah bran but i prefer shredded wheat to be honest it's just nicer i think it creates more of a nest like approach but if you just want to do like cornflakes it's probably just as easy but i prefer this one because it looks more like a nest um what else what have, oh yeah of course I've created a tray. I mean, you can use a cupcake tray, but I find that they're spaced out too much. So I'm like, whatever, um, of just cupcake holders. You don't have to do cupcake holders. You can do muffin holders. You can make them nice and big if you want to, but because I'm making them for a lot of people, I'd rather be able to at least get one each and then we'll see how we go after that. I've got butter as well. Don't ask me why this is in here. I think the butter tub broke, but I've got just margarine. This is Flora. Doesn't really matter, but I don't really want to use like full fat butter. We're using quite a lot of stuff anyway, so a bit of flour is fine. All all that butter is for is to moisten up the chocolate so it doesn't burn when we mix it. And then of course, mini eggs, which are going to be our eggs in our nest. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, and a tiny little spatula because it's cute to be honest with you. So let's go. I don't know what you can and can't see right now. We've got some Dettol, which is very COVID-19 uh, appropriate. And we've got some daffodils, which is very Easter appropriate. So I'm feeling very appropriate with my background right now. Um, but I'm just gonna basically break up all this chocolate in its chunks. Let me just tell you, it's easier to break it up in the packet before putting it in. That way you don't have to actually manhandle anything. So just pour it right in. Okay, 
Okay, so I have the kettle boiling. So if you hear the kettle boiling in the background, that's why, because it's quicker to just boil the kettle and then shove the hot water in here. It kind of gives it a head start rather than boiling water from cold. Um, but I'm gonna put this on the hob. And in this chocolate, so I've just broken it all up a little bit more. Um, to have, I don't, don't want to manhandle it too much. My hands are clean, but I don't want to manhandle it too much because chocolate just melts a bit. Um, I'm gonna take some butter. And the only reason we're using this is to basically lubricate the, <laughs> lubricate the chocolate um, so it doesn't all like stick to the bottom, doesn't stick to one another. So, probably gonna take like that much, I think. I don't know how much that is. It look, kind of looks like maybe just under 100 grams of butter. I'm not too sure. It looks like 100 grams of butter. So I have my water here in the pan and it is slightly smaller because I don't want to submerge the entire bowl in it. I just want it to be kind of like the bottom portion of the bowl. I don't want the whole bowl submerged in the water. And I haven't put a lot of water in. As you can see, about half a litre maybe, just over half a litre, three quarters of a litre. Um, and I'm going to bubble it just so it starts getting steamy. And then I'm going to turn this right down um, so it simmers. So you can see it's warm there but it's still simmering okay that's the trick you want it to be simmering but not vicious because we don't want to burn the chocolate so on top of that see how it literally just sits on top of it so the bottom part of this bowl is the only thing that's cooking the chocolate not like all the way up here and um, i'm just gonna literally sit it on here and just stir it around i actually need a bigger spatula than this because it's gonna break um but we just want to stir this chocolate around until basically the whole thing is melted chocolate has kind of gone a tiny tiny bit matte when it starts looking a bit matte uh, just take it straight off the heat because it'll continue to melt still but you don't want to burn the chocolate so I'm going to shove a bit of honey in and a little bit of golden syrup probably just the same and give it a stir And you'll probably find that the golden syrup and the honey, because it's like acting as another lubricant, it's just gonna separate the chocolate up a little bit. So if you've got any chunks like I have here, can you just about see those chunks? They're just chunks of chocolate that haven't melted yet, but the bowl is still nice and warm. It's not too hot, so it'll just continue melting, just like it is now. Okay, so once we've got our chocolate, as you can see, it's melted, it's looking good, it's quite thick at the moment, um, but luckily it's quite warm. We're going to take our shredded wheat, probably won't use all of this to be honest, um, see how we go. So I'm just going to start by crushing it in the packet, right, I'm going to crush it in the packet, just like we did with the chocolate. So I want it to be broken up. Not to dust, I don't want it to be broken up in dust, but I want it to be broken up quite heavily. Open one end and pour it all in. Okay, and when your mixture is looking like this, Basically, I'm just going to stir it all in, stir the chocolate in. We might have to add some more shredded wheat in a minute. We'll find out, won't we? But, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep kneading all in, basically. If you find that the mixture is getting a little bit dry, like to the point where you're not actually able to stir it, just a little bit of cooking oil, anything, just a light, light drizzle. Just like that, just so we don't have to add any more butter.
this point we do want the mixture to be like drying up we don't want it to be too moist because we want to be able to like form our little nest so we want it to be this sort of dry formula formula i don't know this dry sort of mulchy formula at the moment but if you're finding it's like so hard to even stir you can pour a bit of honey in it pour a bit of golden syrup in it pour a bit of cooking oil in it i wouldn't recommend butter because we're not melting the chocolate anymore um but to be honest if you just keep working at it it should be all right you can like literally turn it over and crush it Okay, so when you've got your mixture and it kind of looks like mulch, it's looking like this. It has the texture of kind of slightly moistened, slightly dry mulch. Um, we're going to just start decanting them into our cupcake cases. So I've got my small spatula back again and I'm going to spatula a tiny bit in each one, see how we go, even them all out. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, so now we have all of our trays of goodies. Um, it's time to make them proper nests by putting the mini eggs on. Now, I've got 22 of these. 9, 10, 12, 22. Perfect. So, I don't know if I'll be able to fit three eggs or two, but we'll make it work. Here we have it so that has taken me about an hour if i'm honest so there they are in all their glory in fact let me just put the camera down so you can actually see it there we go so here they are um i've managed to get three eggs and there are a few left only a few but there's a few left to be honest i'm just gonna eat those later because why not um and then now i'm just gonna set these in the fridge for about i don't know 10 20 minutes just to really harden up so they're not too soft because at the moment these are quite soft where the chocolate um hasn't solidified so i'm gonna shove these in the fridge 20 minutes and then got some easter treats for everyone for pudding tonight which is cool so um that's yeah there we go <laughs> um don't know what i say i've been washing my hands the whole way through of course because of covid haven't been breathing on them too much and now they're gonna go in the fridge Hello people, I've completely forgot to start vlogging. I'm currently cleaning the sink with a bit of sif. Um, it's actually three o'clock and I haven't even started vlogging. I mean, to be honest, I completely forgot. Lost track of time, I've just been cleaning all morning, done the hoovering, uh, washed the upstairs like bathroom, like cleaned it all. Now I'm doing the downstairs bathroom. So sorry if you can hear the extract fan. Uh, Mum and Dad are doing gardening. I'm not a massive fan of doing the gardening. I don't like being hot and sweaty, to be honest with you. So they're doing that whilst I'm indoors um, doing all the cleaning. And I'm quite enjoying myself. I need to drop off Jake's Easter treats to his house. Obviously, I'm not going to go in. Um, but I just want to drop them off to his doorstep. 
just to give him some Easter treats. Give him a pick me up because he's by himself. Um, but that's about it really. I mean, it's just been a very lazy bank holiday. Uh, Easter Easter bank holiday. Sorry for these awkward camera angles. I'm trying to clean and hold you with one other hand. So, yes. Um, but apart from that, that's all that's been happening today. Me and Ryan are going to play some video games at some point. Um, God knows when. Just at some point when we can, we can do that. He wants to play some video games, so I said I would, but you know, other stuff. Oh god, I've got to do other stuff first. <laughs> How's your weekend going? How are your Easter weekends? I know Easter was last week when I'm posting this, but how was your Easter? Obviously in isolation, away from family, it's kind of suckish. But did you do anything nice? Did you make any Easter treats? Did you watch a movie? Do you celebrate Easter? If you don't, that's fair enough. Um, yeah. and I haven't done any vlogging I've got a cup of tea here I actually don't think I've vlogged at all today I've been playing um, Call of Duty with Jake and Ryan which has been quite fun playing that for quite a few hours I did some cleaning today um, what else not a lot really just been cleaning and played video games I needed to edit a video and a video should have gone up today whoopsie um, I'm gonna edit it now while dinner's cooking, it's currently half seven, um, for, what am I saying, for the video to go up tomorrow evening, hopefully, so that should be good, um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything else to vlog, maybe I'll do something in my room in a minute, like organise something, so you can watch me organise something, I need to declutter my skincare drawers and everything like that, so I might do that next weekend as like, the main feature of that video, apart from that, I don't really know what else to show you, apart from maybe I can do some stuff upstairs. My hair's a mess. Um, but today, I don't really know where the day's gone. It's just gone a bit mental. But we're about to eat dinner. Mum's cooked up a nice roast dinner, which is exciting. Oh, I need to make those deliveries to Jake. I got Jake a few Easter -y bits, like some Easter eggy things and made some nests that I made yesterday. So I'm gonna give him a few of those just so that he can feel a bit Easter-y. I know Easter's kind of over, but you know, it's not. The festive Easter season's still going on. Um, so yes, about to eat dinner and maybe I'll show you one or two th more things and then sign out this vlog. I have no idea how long it is. We'll find out. Hopefully it's lengthy in a good way and not 10 minutes. I doubt it because it's me, but you know. And of course, naturally, it would not be one of my weekend vlogs if I didn't sign out to the vlog looking like this, about to go to bed. Um, obviously, it's Tuesday tomorrow um, and it's back to work. The routine carries on working from home. Um, it's actually quite late at the moment. It is 1.18. Whoops. Um, fantastic. I've got to be up in six and a half hours get up at like seven half seven um just because i was going to start work at eight so um yeah that that's this long weekend i have no idea how long this footage is but i've just started exporting it off my phone to my laptop and we're already at an hour and we're not even gone to sunday yet which is good bodes well um so this might have to be a two-parter i'm not too sure if it is then there you go, I was right, and if it's not, then I was wrong, again. But um, I thought I would at least give you an outro to this video, because I don't think last weekend I gave you a proper, like, outro. In fact, I know I didn't, because I've just finished editing it, and I didn't actually do an outro, so I need to go type something. <laughs> but I thought I'd give you a proper outro to this vlog, because last week's vlog, I just forgot 
because I'm terrible like that. Um, so I thought I'd give you a proper outro to this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed your Easter weekend or bank holiday, Friday and Monday. Um, and if you don't celebrate Easter, then fair enough. I hope you've enjoyed perhaps maybe a few days off or just your weekend in general. Um, but to those of you that do celebrate Easter, I hope you had a good one. I had a good one. Um, even if it was under quarantine, I still FaceTimed family and wished them a happy Easter. And, you know, we were still able to do drops to doors and things like that without actually coming in contact with people. Um, so yeah, it's been good. It's been a good-ish weekend. It's gone by really quickly. It's gone by very quickly. And I'm already compiling a list in my mind of things to do next weekend. Maybe through the week. But, you know, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, only three days without a vlog and then I'm vlogging again in three days. So I'm sure I can save everything that I'm thinking about doing for next weekend's vlog. Um, I hope it's been entertaining. I hope you've had a good one. And yeah, take care guys. Stay safe, stay at home. Don't um, go outside, even if you, you might be tempted. Don't do it. It's silly. Um, yeah, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoy vlogs. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring my bell. Be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week. And through this time, you definitely don't want to miss out on that content. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.